music's most appealing voices. He's written many of the biggest hits, including Candy Kisses, a song that sold over two million records. Members of his huge fan club call themselves the Candy Kids and turn out by the whenever ten and turn out by the thousands. Whenever Tennessee born George Morgan comes to town. The music and story about the guy who makes the sweetest sound around is our next salute on Country Music's Star Route. With your host, Rod Cameron, featuring Laurie and Larry, the Collins Kids, Glenn Campbell, the Star Route Singers, and the music of Gene Davis and his Star Routers, and saluting George Morgan. We're saluting one of the nicest guys in country music. He's a gold record recording star, a top songwriter, a busy man in radio and television. And after working with him on this show, I can see why they call his singing the sweetest sound in country music. And here he is, the candy kid, George Morgan. Kisses wrapped in paper. Oh, 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 hold it. Now. What's the matter? I was just. Well, that's one of George Morgan's biggest numbers. You just got through singing it. You'll have to pick out something else to do, right, Glenn? Uh, I'm afraid so. Uh, how about Night Train to Memphis? It's a song we always do when we appear with George. Oh, that sounds fine. Okay, what was that? Uh, candy kisses wrapped in paper. <laughs> Hallelujah, 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 we'll be shouting hallelujah all the way. Well, we're gonna 
George Morgan got his start in a radio station in Ohio. Even then, he was singing the kind of songs that have become his trademark. In country music, they call them weepers. I've tried so hard to keep our home alive. But you don't even care.
still like to own a little doll like you. George started singing professionally, he entered and won a talent contest. But come to think of it, so did our own Laurie Collins.
I've known Lori, Rod, since she was about, well, you know, she sings prettier every year, doesn't she? She certainly does. And, George, I want to tell you, it's been just wonderful having you on the show. Thank you. I've had a great time. Hey, I want to tell you something. I like the way that uh, you sang Candy Kisses. <laughs> I got a little deal in mind. You want to hear about it? Yeah. Well, if, uh, if I let you make my next records with me, would you uh, consent to me doing a movie with you? Well, I'll practice up on candy kisses, and I tell you, you practice up on being a pale Indian, and we got a deal. <laughs> I have to wear feathers and all? Oh, sure. Oh, well. Let's see, you, uh, uh, boy, it's a long time since you started in Grand Ole Opry, isn't it? Yeah, it's been about uh, 16 years. Oh, that's just wonderful. Well, that's down in Nashville. You live there, don't you? Yeah, I live in, i got to plug this, a Music City, USA. Oh, yeah. They yes. make us plug that every time we go Well, it's rapidly becoming that, too. Uh, it is. Uh, well, you, ha you have a nice family. How much time do you spend on the road? Well, I think about uh, close to 200 days out of the year, Rod. Oh, uh, we, and then we go all over Europe and uh, Hawaii and uh, you, coast uh, to coast here. You know, I understand you have a pretty big family. Are uh, any of them country musicians? Yes. Uh, well, they're not musicians yet. Of course, one or two of them's taken piano, but they all sing. And I like to think that uh, I'm not going to push them, but I like to think that they'll grow up to be in the music business, too. Okay, well, if you need any help, I'll teach some candy kisses. <laughs> <laughs> with the cane, yeah. yeah with the I cane. like that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if, if ever you get a chance and you come by to Nashville, well, I don't, we don't have to do that. Would you like to meet my family? I certainly would. I'll tell you what, you bring your star route cameras along right now, and we'll meet them. That's just wonderful. The Star Rod cameras were set up in Nashville, Tennessee to greet George Morgan, the man with the sweetest voice in country music. His teenage daughter, Candy, was waiting with our cameras. George is returning from one of his many road trips. He makes over 200 personal appearances a year. Tennessee-born Morgan is a dedicated family man who spends as much time as possible just plain family living. With George out on personal appearances most of every year, his gracious wife Anna is pretty much in charge of running the family. The Morgan kids seem to be taken to country music, so there's every chance that we may be hearing from another big Morgan star someday soon. Now here's a close-up for the Morgan family. This is Beth, 11 years old, and all smiles for Daddy. Next is Liana, who's 10 years old and has one of the prettiest names we've ever heard, Liana. Marty is the boy of the family, all boy, and the family cut up too. He's eight years old. And here's daddy's baby, Lori, the little blondie who's four years old. Just barely a teenager, this is Candy, 13, who joined the family shortly after George's all-time gold record, Candy Kisses. Study time is pretty much the same American institution the country over. Here, George joins Anna, the family tutor, with what the kids hope are the right answers. From his million-selling record, Candy Kisses, to a place as an all-time country music favorite. His fans the world over agree that success just couldn't happen to a nicer guy, George Morgan. like George Morgan makes a personal appearance. He's always mighty happy to hear that Gene Davis and his star runners are providing the music. Hey, my window faces the south. I'm almost halfway to heaven. Yeah, snow is falling. Still I can see those fields of cotton. Smiling at me, my window faces the south. And though I'm far from the swanee, I'm never frowning or down in the mouth. My window faces the south. 
The sweet singing voice of George Morgan makes him one of country music's top ballad singers. He's also at home in the mansion over the hilltop, a good example of the inspirational tradition that's a part of all country music. Satisfied with just a cottage below, a little silver and a little gold. But in that city where the ransom will shine, I'll have a gold one. That silver line I've got a mansion Just over the hilltop In that bright land We'll never grow And someday yonder We will never more wander but walk on streets that are pure as gold. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land never grow and someday yonder we will never more wander but walk on streets that are pure as gold Wonderful having you with us, George. Thank you very much, Rod. It was an honor being on your Star Route show, and I'm looking forward to seeing who your guest is next week. Good deal. And now this is Rod Cameron saying so long for all the Star Route gang. And we hope your lucky star shines over the route you travel. See you next week. recording star came to you this week from Toronto. Star Route is a medallion production. <laughs>